Hey guys, my name is Jess. It is the 10th of August and I've got some gaming news for you Wednesday. Bethesda marketing exec Pete Hines has said that The Elder Scrolls 6 is coming, but not anytime soon. Hines has echoed the same sentiment he made back in June by saying, The Elder Scrolls 6 isn't in development. We simply said we would make it eventually. He added, Bethesda is not a two-button vending machine where we first press Elder Scrolls and then we press Fallout. I know what they're working on for the next decade and I think all of them are things to get excited about for different reasons. And once they come out, folks will enjoy them for what they are. Bethesda have also expressed an interest in creating more mobile games and exploring virtual reality. But we yet to see what will come of that. Next up, Quantum Break is making the leap over to Steam in just over a month. Microsoft and Remedy announced that the time manipulation heavy action game will arrive on Steam come September 14. That same day, it will also be available in a retail version called Quantum Break Timeless Collector's Edition, which includes making of features, a soundtrack, two posters, five game discs, and premium packaging, whatever that means. Both editions will run you 40 bucks. Fortunately, for those of you still denying that notification box telling you it's time to upgrade to Windows 10, Quantum Break Steam release will work with Windows 7 and 8. The only caveat being that you will need to be running a 64-bit version of your operating system. Hello Games director Sean Murray has told the Daily Star that if No Man's Sky were to run on the more powerful PS4 Neo, it would fundamentally change the gameplay experience. Murray explained, for our game, it's procedurally generated. So more powerful hardware doesn't just mean upgraded textures or a higher frame rate. It means we can fundamentally change the experience. He added that the studio is able to change huge things through their patches, including the density and immersion of worlds and world types. That said, no official decisions have been made to bring No Man's Sky to the PS4 Neo as yet. Be sure to stop by GameSpot for stories on The Evil Within and Gears of War 4 and pop by again tomorrow for a bunch more news.